The PlayStation 5 is receiving welcomed software and hardware improvements, a new kind of Xbox controller, exciting Pokemon Gen 9 details on today's GameSpot News. Following an earlier beta test, the latest PlayStation 5 firmware update is out now, adding 1440 HDMI video output and game lists, aka folders. Users can check if their HDMI device can reach 1440p by choosing Test 1440p Output in the Screen and Video option under System Settings. For those playing a game with a higher native resolution, such as 4K, Sony said they may benefit from improved anti-aliasing through super sampling down to 1440p output. As for game lists, players can now create these in their game library to help make organizing games easier. Game lists can support up to 100 games and users can have up to 15 lists. Players can select any game to add to a list, whether it be on a disc, digital or streaming. A full list of the new features of the PS5 firmware update at the link in the description. On the hardware side, YouTuber Austin Evans got his hands on the new PlayStation 5 model that was discovered in the wild last week. Upon opening it, he discovered that the motherboard is around two inches smaller and that the SSD enclosure no longer has a printed circuit board through the entire length of the device and has more exposed metal, which Evans believes will dissipate heat more efficiently. The cooling setup now has an additional heat pipe and a smaller heat sink, with the entire build now being around a pound lighter than the original PS5's hardware. As for tangible benefits, Evans theorized that this model will draw around 20 to 30 watts of power less during gaming sessions, but heat and noise output will remain roughly the same. So for everyone that's been struggling to find a PlayStation 5 over the last nearly two years, rest easy knowing that when you do eventually pick one up, it will likely be an improved model. If you ended up making the Xbox Series Series X or S, your console of choice this generation, Microsoft has a great new accessory for you. The Xbox Elite Series 2 Core model is a cheaper version of Xbox's regular Elite Series 2 with fewer features. Priced at $130, the controller has adjustable tension thumbsticks, a rubberized grip on the handles, and hair trigger locks. Button mapping is also available through the Xbox Accessories app, just like it is for the regular model. While the Core controller doesn't come with the back paddles, alternate D-pad and thumbsticks, and charging case that the regular Elite controller does, those items can be picked up as a part of a complete component pack for $60, which would actually ultimately make it more costly in total than the normal Elite Series 2, which Microsoft currently sells for $155. Still, if you're looking for an additional Elite controller or wish to replace yours because there's an unsettling rattling around in the chassis, like like mine because you maybe dropped it one too many times. The Core is a slightly less expensive option that will work with all your current Elite accessories. But wait, don't rush to pick up the Core yet, as Microsoft also teased that the Elite Series 2 controller will be coming to Xbox Design Lab this holiday, allowing you to customize it with a variety of colors. Nintendo released a new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer today, which showed off the three separate adventures that make up the game's campaigns. In addition to the Gym and Pokemon League quest line, the player will take on Team Star, this generation's bothersome group of ne'er-do-wells. The third and final storyline will partner you up with a fellow classmate, Arvin, in search of rare cooking ingredients called Herba Mystica, playing into the treasure hunt theme of the games. Three new Pokemon will also introduced in the trailer, starting with the crab-like Clawf. Clawf presented the new Titan mechanic, which seems to operate like the alpha Pokemon of Pokemon Legends Arceus. The other two new Pokemon will be exclusive to one of the two versions of the new game. Scarlet's exclusive is Armor Rouge, a dual fire and psychic type Pokemon that draws its power from the armor it's wearing. Serilege, a fire and ghost type Pokemon that uses blades made of both fire and ghost power, will be exclusive to Violet. While not shown off during the trailer, a new page on the Scarlet and Violet website shows off the game's new Let's Go feature. While exploring the world, you will be able to deploy one of your Pokemon to roam separately for you, with it able to 
discover and recover items. It can also automatically battle wild Pokemon, which you can stand by and witness or have occur while you're doing something else entirely. Sounds great until your Pokemon auto KOs uh, shiny. And that's it for today's GameSpot news. Are you picking up a new core controller or waiting for Xbox Design Lab? What about those new Pokemon details? Do those do anything for you? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you here tomorrow on GameSpot News.